What up, though, Detroit? I'm standing here at the recovery walk with Christian. Christian, what was your drug of choice? Heroin and crack. How long were you using heroin? Um, eight years. Eight years. Eight How years. did you get started? Um, actually, I went into uh, treatment for alcohol and cocaine, and I uh, came out using heroin. Wow. How was that? Um, awful. It took a lot of things away from me. Um, it did a lot of damage uh, with me and my family and my children. Um, you know, but there are ways to recover. Um, there's resources out there. You know. okay. So you say you went in treatment for, for alcohol. Uh huh. And I met a boy. You know, we were gonna fall in love, and yes, and and at that time, you know, it was just becoming like an epidemic, and I. You know, I wanted to try it. it. It seemed appealing to me. Everybody was doing it, and so what happened when you first tried it? I was love at first sight. I was hooked. The first time I tried it, I was hooked. Okay. Yep. And how long did you stay out there for? Eight years. Eight years. And how? What was your bottom? My bottom um, is probably when I um, lost rights to my youngest son. Yeah, he's with his father, so um, you know I'm not. I haven't seen him in almost a year. Um, but that's not permanent, you know. As right. long as I keep doing the next right thing. That's right. God's got me. That's right. Yeah. You, oh, you're going to have them back. Yeah. So let me ask you this. How did you hide your drug using from your family? Um, you know, I honestly, I never really tried to hide it. Um, both my parents are um, alcoholics and addicts. So it was never really an issue as far as me trying to keep it a secret from them. Okay. And from a very young age, I've always... No matter what I do, alcohol, cocaine, I do it to the fullest. How did it affect your relationship with your family? Um, it definitely put strains on them. I put them through a lot of a lot of things. Um, I stole a lot of money from my family, from my grandmother, um, and uh, you know I had to work through that guilt and shame and get past that. So, how is your relationship with them today? Or do you have support? I do have support. Um, it is getting better. Um, but I have to set certain boundaries with my family because they still, you know, they drink and they smoke weed, and that's okay for them. You know what I mean? But for me, it doesn't work like that. I don't just, you know, smoke a joint or take a drink of a beer. And for them, they can do that. So, I have to set healthy boundaries. But I do have support from them. So how is it going out here this afternoon with you at the recovery walk? It's so amazing. There's so many resources out here. Um, recovery is possible no matter what you're going through. Um, don't be discouraged and don't be afraid to ask for help. 